One seed and nine seed UConn and Pitt. Ralph Willard's Panthers knocked off St. John's yesterday. A tougher time this afternoon. Ray Allen scores 20. UConn up by four. Garrick Thomas first with a three-pointer leads the pit charge. And then remember, follow your shot, young players. Look at Garrick. Too much UConn down the stretch. Duran Sheffer to Donnie Marshall, who scored a game-high 22. Connecticut wins by three. Fifth seed, Miami. And the fourth seed, Georgetown. All you need to know is freshman Allen Iverson. Allen driving, 15 first half points for Iverson. And then the defense, the quick hands against Steve Frazier. Miami had 15 turnovers in the half. Hoyas up 16 at the break. Leonard Hamilton's tournament hopes take a hit. Georgetown wins. The 10th seed BC and the second seed Villanova. Five minutes left, Nova by two. Danya Abrams tied at 57, still tied two to go. Eric Ebers outside, Nova by three, a minute 26. Robowski down the lane, three-point game again. 10 seconds left, BC down three. Brad Christensen, watch Dwayne Woodard at the top, turns his head to call timeout, turnover. Abrams, 30-point effort goes to waste as Villanova beats BC, 68-64. Steve. Final action against Pete Gaudet's club. Early on, didn't look like it would be Duke lost number 19. Trajan Langdon for the easy two. Capel himself this time. Little spin move. 31-13 Blue Devils. And then Childress took over. Demonstrative Childress out of the corner for three. Childress from downtown. Childress with a hanger holding. Oh, my. Well, we're under 11 and a half minutes to go in the game, so it may be Randolph Childress' time in the scoring column again. That's when he really lit it up in the first half. Hurts. Yep. Hurts. A career-high 40 points for Childress, fifth best in tournament history. Wake gets it done. The 4-5 game, Virginia and Georgia Tech. The star in this one, Junior Burrow. Right from the start, turnaround jumper. Eight points in the first three minutes for Burrow. More in the second half. Fade away at 12 in the first seven minutes of the second half. Bobby Cremins didn't know what to do. Turnaround jumper again. Career high 36 for Burrow. And the Cavs win it by 10. Sixth seed, Clemson. Third seed, Carolina. First half, Carolina flexing their muscles. Rasheed Wallace still in the first. Jeff McInnes to Jerry Stackhouse. They do that so well. Carolina by 14 at the break. Second half, UNC by 16. And the fireworks start. Stackhouse. Fouled by Archer Iturbe, and Dean Smith didn't like the contact. Rick Barnes gets into it as well. There's a history there. Then with just over a minute left, Stackhouse, a push on Bill Harder. The players had to be restrained. Then the game ended. Smith and Barnes look okay, but not the players. They continue to scuffle on the floor, but in the end, Carolina wins the basketball game 78-62. Maryland and Florida State is just seen here on ESPN. Maryland the winner. They'll face and Caffey the fake. And the spin on Carlos Strong. Caffey scored eight of Bama's first 11 points. The big man, Charles Claxton, kept Georgia alive. And then it's Claxton again underneath the rebound and put back. He scored 19 points, Bulldogs within three. But Antonio McDice puts it away. They call Alabama the Crimson Tide. We call them winners. McDice scores 22 and 14 boards to lead the Tide. Georgia 18 and 9 overall. Kentucky's train keeps a rolling with a 12 point win over Auburn. Walter McCarty led the Cats with 22 points and 10 boards. Auburn 15 and 12 looking for an NIT bid. Vandy and Arkansas, another close game. Less than 35 to play. Hogs up two. Drew Maddox tips in the miss. We're tied at 72. And then eight seconds left. Corey Beck drives. Ronnie McMahon called for the block. Beck makes the first. Hogs up one. The bench is concerned. The second free throw from Beck misses. Ryan Milbert rebounds, heaves up court. Can they get a shot off in time? No. And Arkansas wins by one. The Razorbacks move to 8-0 this season in games decided by three points or less. They've won nine straight. Vandy ends their season with a record of 13-15. and Florida State, Mississippi State, that game tied at 49 in the second. We now move to Cincy beating Memphis. The Bearcats knock out the Tigers for the fourth straight year in the Great Midwest Tournament. They advance. First half, things started well for Donnie Boyce. Mac Tuck on the break misses, but Boyce the follow. Then, 
in the first half. It goes the wrong way. On the rebound, comes down the wrong way on his knee, wound up with a broken leg. That's Donnie's mom concerned, who was taken to the Research Medical Center in Kansas City. After the game was delayed some 12 minutes, second half, we got back to basketball. Ryan Miner, unstoppable, hit the shot from his knees. Colorado loses this one in more ways than one. Oklahoma, the winner there. Fred Edmonds had 12 in the loss. The Sooners go to 21 and 9. Ryan Miner played, uh, had 21 points in this one. Oh, fans, they were wrapped up in the action. Get it wrapped up. That's great. First half, O'Donnell did not disappoint. Colgate up one early, foil the big game, second half, foil outlet to Tucker Neal, basket in the arm. Neal had a game high 29, and the Red Raiders go to the dance for the first time ever. Colgate had won 11 of 12, they're only lost to Navy by 42. But when it counts, the Red Raiders win. They go to the NCAA tournament after 95 years of college basketball. That's a lot of timeouts. Three, Ron Riley. From the top of the key, hits the three. It's 81 all. Arizona with a chance to win Mario Bennett. The big block on Ray O's were going to overtime. That is where State leading by two. John McClain misses. Michael Dickerson misses. But Corey Williams there for the follow. We're going to double overtime. Joe Zalidal. The bucket there with the foul. State up by one. State would then lead by three. Corey Williams going to launch for three. But again, Bennett with the big block. And Arizona State hangs on. They win it by five in the second overtime. Mario Bennett coming up just three blocks short of the rare college triple-double. He had 34 points. Michael Dickerson filled in for Stoudemire with 25. Stoudemire will, by the way, have an eligibility hearing on Monday for the NCAA tournament. Top-ranked UCLA hosting Oregon. UCLA running. Edney, the ball knocked away, but it gets it to Charles O'Bannon. And he lays it in. Then it is big brother Ed. Deep pass to Cameron Dollar on the money. Then it's Charles Trailer. He soars and scores. Had 25. Jerry Green striking the pose. Even when they miss, they make. Charles with the follow. UCLA by 13 at the break. And then in the second half, it's big brother Ed for three. He had 24. And just to make a point, Edney to Ed on the business end. I would like to see that again. He got up rather high. And O'Bannon kisses the... Logo, as he says goodbye to Paula, UCLA wins it by 16. O'Bannon capping off his five-year home career with 24. Bruins avenging one of their only two losses of the year. And Stanford downing the UW Huskies by nine. Rose Rashid. Second half, Johnny Rhodes. Get that out of here. Blocked by Wallace. Then Stackhouse upstairs to Rashid. Resounding. Tario's led by as much as 13. Maryland came back. Wayne Bristol, the launch for three. The Terps had the lead. Tar Heels down by three. Jerry Stackhouse, the high flyer from outside. We go to overtime. NOT, Rashid. Quick on Joe Smith. Time running out. Maryland down three. Dwayne Simpkins misses the tying three. Tar Heels win. Rashid scores six in overtime. I had to step up today. My team needed me, he said. He scores a career high 33. 23 in the final 25 minutes. Wallace was 13 of 19 from the floor and blocked five shots. Joe Smith finished with 24 and 10. Virginia Wake Forest also. ACC semis. Virginia came out determined. First half, Harold Dean, Jason Williford. Cavs had a 10-point lead in the first. Things looked bleak for Wake when Randolph Childress dislocated his finger on this play. Second half. Randy Childress kept firing up threes. 30 points for Childress, 70 points in the last two games. Dave Odom and Wake advanced to the final versus North Carolina. Randolph Childress played with a dislocated finger on his shooting hand. At halftime, he had the options of painkillers, ice tape, or nothing at all, just guts. Saves the ball, shoots, and KU, the biggest lead of the game of seven points. Cyclones respond under eight to play. Hurl Beecham for three, Cyclones by one. Their first lead of the second half. Next time down, Freddie Hoiberg, the mayor. Cyclones by four. Jayhawks turn to come back. Greg Ostertan. And the foul misses the free throw. Iowa State by one. Last seconds of the game. Jacques Vaughn for three. We go to overtime. Jayhawks' first overtime game this season in OT. Who's guarding Hurl Beecham? Pearl. Pearls from three. Career high 25 points for Beecham. Hits on eight of 14 shots, and that includes six of 12 from three point land. Freddie the Mayor totals 20 points and seven boards. The Cyclones advance to the Big Eight finals against the winner of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. And here's that game right now. Bryant Reeves, Big Eight Player of the Year by the coaches. 
Big Country going to work. In a crowd, Cowboys up by eight. Ryan Miner keeps it close. The follow on Reeves. Oklahoma State by two at the break. Second half, all Cowboys. Big Country. Dreams do come true. Big Country buckets 28 with 12 boards. The Sooners shot just 34% in the game and didn't score in the first five minutes of the second half. Brett. Semifinals, first half, Ray Allen steal, jam. He had 24. Jim Calhoun is not happy. Why? It's their failure to bang the boards. Othella, one of his 11 rebounds and a putback. Georgetown up five, but then they went cold, and the Huskies did not. Travis Knight with the jam, and UConn is a winner by seven, holding Georgetown to just two field goals in the last seven minutes. Ray Allen had 24. UConn will face Villanova, who gets 29 from Kerry Kittles in their win over Providence. The Huskies and Wildcats split during the regular season. To the Metro semifinals, Louisville two-lane, clock winding down, two-lane down three. Kim Lewis hits the three, bounces once, goes in, tied at 70, overtime. Two-lane by one, Samaki Walker. Turnaround over Gerald Honeycutt, Louisville leads by one. One, time running out, tick, tick, tick. Rodgers with the block shot. And as the replay shows, Rodgers had all ball and tick, tick, tock. Time runs out. Louisville wins it by one. Samaki Walker goes for 19 for Denny Crum's Cardinals. They'll meet Southern Miss in the finals. They upset the top seed UNC Charlotte. Damian Smackson. Alabama on the board. Jamal Faulkner the tip in. Bama out rebounded Arkansas by 11, tied at 31 at the half. Arkansas turn it up. In the second half, Corey Beck to steal Scotty Thurman to Corliss Williamson, who gets the, the big nasty jam. Nolan Richardson impressed with Big Corliss in Arkansas, wins the ball game. Richardson finally gets a berth in the SEC tournament championship game. They will face Kentucky, who whipped the Gators in the other semi. Florida, a Final Four team a year ago, is probably going to the NIT. Big Ten, Wisconsin, Michigan State, Judd, his final home game, and he's pumped. First half, deep launch from Sean Respert. And Judd helped him with that shot. Read your SI, young players. Second half, more Respert. Eight threes, 31 points, kisses the, the floor, and there's, there's Judd. After the game, a banner with Judd's name on it was raised to the rafters between Magic Johnson and Greg Kelser. Said Judd, it was a beautiful ceremony, and I was very moved. Kinnis, go on ahead, get back up. It won't matter. Late in the second half, Rasheed Wallace comes down hard on his left ankle. He would not return. The injury was described as a mild to moderate sprain. But Wallace was done for the day. Closing seconds, Carolina down by three. Jerry Stackhouse sends it into overtime. Wake comes up, firing Childress. Good. Wake up by three. Carolina down three when Donald Williams pulls up and sends it to an 80 all time. Wake with the ball. Childress had 37. Wake by two. Three seconds to go. Carolina, one last chance. It's Stackhouse again. A three again. This time the miss. Pierce Landry, the follow up won't go. And Wake wins it in overtime. That's Childress, who does look like he's in the zone. The final 82 to 80 in the best game of the afternoon. This was Wake's first conference tournament crown since. Razorbacks in control. Corliss with a big old nasty jam. Arkansas by 12 with seven minutes to go. But then here comes Kentucky. Tony Delk, Walter McCarty were tied at 78. Game tied at 80 when Roderick Rhodes go to the line and 1.3 seconds to go. All he has to do is make one. That's not a good angle there. Anthony Epps couldn't watch. Rhodes misses and we go into overtime. Corey Beck puts the Razorbacks up by as many as nine in overtime, but then it's Delft touching nothing but the bottom of the net. Nolan Richardson team had a three-point lead. It was down to one when Anthony Epps gets fouled on the rebound. Now, he couldn't watch Roderick Rhodes shoot his free throw, so this time it's his turn to show Rhodes that's how you do it. Not only hits one, hits another one. Last chance for Arkansas. A lot of time, but Scotty goes for the long three. Thurman, it won't go. Rhodes and the Wildcats escape 95 to 93. The Wildcats made 12 more free throws than the Arkansas Razorbacks did. Rick Bettino is now one for the dance that would make it a flappist dance. First half, UConn out strong. They're on Shepard, Ray Allen, who led them with 21 points. But in the second half, another story. Jonathan Haynes robs Ray. Out to who else? Kerry Kittles. 10 out of 17 points in a 17 love Nova run. And then Kittles right out down. Bang. Nova, 62-45. Connecticut with a rally. Sheffer. Yep. 
Huskies get to within five, 77-72, but that's it. Eric Ebers scores three of his 16. Get me, I'm giving out wings. Nova, it's first ever Big East tournament crown. Kittles, of whom there are about 100 All-America candidacy, uh, candidacy postcards in every TV and newspaper sports department in the country. Ends with 27. Tournament MVP to go with Ray. Eight in Oklahoma State. Big country, big time. Really big. Reeves working down low, turnaround jumper, and it counts. Played all 21st half minutes, scored 12. OK State by eight at the half. Cowboys continued strong in the second. Andre Owens with the steal. Beats two guys on the way to the hoop. OSU by 10. Cyclones mini run. Fred Hoiberg, the mayor from the downtown precinct. Bang. Could James Hamilton get them to within one? He tried two hands. There might be an offensive goaltending here, but they counted it anyway. How do you lose some ground during the commercial? That's when Eddie Sutton argued it was goaltending, and they listened to him. Cyclones down by six. No wind left in Kansas. Too much big country. The high lob inside to Reeves from Owens. And that's it. First conference title for the Cowboys since 1983, but it guaranteed their fifth straight uh, trip to the big cotillion. They earned it holding the side. Maurice Taylor fights underneath. Herb Dove flies for the rejection. Second half, Gene Cady watching Conzo. More Purdue, more Conzo, this time dishing to Brandon Brantley. The jam and the foul, and that's hang time. Purdue wins on senior day. Gene Cady, great job this year. Deserves a lot of recognition for Coach of the Year. Coach Cady said this kind of game exemplified our whole season. It One of my favorite players, Patrick Knight, is my all-time favorite Indiana player. Pat Knight looking for Allen Henderson for the alley-oop. Senior day at Indiana, Knight to Henderson. Henderson, 35 points, nine boards, and Pat Knight, a big hug from his dad. Coach Knight also said I was his favorite sportscaster. 110 to 79, the final, the first time IU has reached the century mark since December 10th, 1993, I believe, while Indiana was almost as short of their 10th consecutive trip to the to Juan Wheat. Turn up here. Wheat with the sweet move inside. That was pretty fair, Wheat. And then the three-pointer from outside, way downtown, Juan Wheat. Bang. Louisville by 10 at the half. Why did Southern Mississippi get the works? It's nobody business but Coach M.K. Turks. To make matters even worse, Southern Miss inbounds, picked off. Last second, alley oop. Eric Johnson jams. Exclamation point. Louisville wins the automatic bid to the smoker, so it's official. You can't beat the same team three times in one year. Not at the third time. Is in their town in a tourney final. Dewan Wheat, tourney MVP, 24. Louisville. 49ers, 36-28 at the break. Second half, Nevada gets the long three from Brian Green. They're coming back. A minute. Long Beach down by four. Eric Brown drives and hits the clutch jumper. Pat Foster's annoyed. And then Brown to O'Kelly, who gets the roll off the uh, jumper. Well, and we all waited the results for that. We go to overtime, and it's all beach. Eric with the three. Seth Greenberg gets his wish. He gets to wear a hat indoors. The 49ers win their seventh of seven ever over Nevada's Wolfpack, which remains NCAA-less since 1985. The beach goes in as the 13th.